What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and we're back with another BIOS walkthrough. This is the BIOS on the Aorus uh, X299 Gaming 9 motherboard. This BIOS should be pretty much the same as all of the X299 boards from Gigabyte and Aorus. Um, maybe a different skin depending on the type of board you have, but the layout should be pretty much the same. So here we're in easy mode and easy mode kind of gives you um, just some quick settings that you can change really quick in some information. So up top here, we have information on our board and our processor, uh, you know, what version of the BIOS we're running, processor speed, memory speed, or memory, total memory up here as well. And that's actually not reading correctly for some reason, um, which is weird. Um, but uh, over here we have our CPU temperature uh, in real time our CPU vCore uh, and our system one, which I believe is our PCH temperature. And then we have easy OC over here and you can actually just click. Um, so it's on normal right now. You can click for performance and click for power savings. So whatever you may be doing, you can easily go ahead and do that. This gives you information um, on your SATA drives. We only have one drive installed, which you can see here. DRAM status, uh, we can see we have our four uh, memory slots uh, filled with an 8 gig kit per thing so again you can see I don't know why that's reading wrong but it is uh, so we have those in there as well um, and then to change your XMP profile is really easy all you do is just click and you can see that changes um, and then for boot sequence um, and you can see here we have the one drive but if you click this um, this will bring up all of your drives if you have more installed again We only have one but this makes it easy to select select your boot sequence fan profile um, You can see your fans. This just gives all of your uh, Settings for your fans and you can see we just have our CPU fan if we go over here to smart fan 5 This brings up a nice little overlay um, And it allows you to set fan curves. We have everything running at full speed because we're running an AIO um, but if you wanted to set your fan curves and you can just click on this and go all of the uh, fan headers on the board you can go ahead and change um, to whatever fan curve you want and you can you know change the speed control uh, temperature control temperature interval like when to check for the temperature um, fan control mode so you can do voltage or PWM and CPU fan stop you can turn it on or off so like if temperature goes a certain thing or uh, it will give you a warning if your fan is not on. Has all of our temperatures here in real time. CPU fan warning, again, you can turn that on or off. And then temperature warning control, you can turn that on or off. And then this just shows you your fan speeds and, and all that kind of stuff. So pretty cool you have that. And then Intel uh, rapid storage technology, you can turn that on or off if you want. So that is basically easy mode. I know a lot of you guys will probably be jumping down into the more advanced or what Gigabyte calls is classic. So to switch through, uh, you just hit this classic up here. And now we're in the MIT, and this is where you're gonna do pretty much all of your system tuning. So first, we will go into advanced frequency settings. And this is where you're gonna set all of your settings for your you know, your BCLK, your CPU clock ratio. So if you're doing any type of overclocking, you can go ahead and do all of that right in here. And then advanced CPU core settings you might wanna go into. So, you know, you, you can set your clock ratios and all that, but you can turn things off. You can turn turbo boost on and off and, and all those things you might want to do. Um, your power limits, you can turn on or off. Your C states, you can turn on or off as well. So if you're doing any hardcore overclocking, you would want to turn those C states off. Um, you can do everything that has to do with the CPU you can do in this menu. Um, and you can also change the XMP here. Um, you can do it in another menu as well, which I'll show you, but you can do it all in this menu, uh, which makes it pretty easy. So if you need to change ratio and do your XMP, you can just do it right here in this menu. Um, advanced memory settings. Again, same thing. You can change your XMP profile here, but also you can uh, set up your timings if you want. Um, so we can go in here and if I had, you know, I can change this to manual and then I will be able to change all of these settings for my timings on my memory. So if you're doing any memory overclocking and you need to change the timings, you can do it all within this menu. Um, we'll get out of that. Uh, advanced voltage settings again. This is um, all of the voltage control for the board and 
Gigabyte, uh, a lot of companies will put it all in one page, but they kind of separated it. So you have advanced power settings, and these are all the power settings, like real advanced settings to do with power on this board. And then you have the CPU, CPU stuff, so all of the CPU voltages you'll have here. And again, you can change those. Um, chipset voltage, you can change the voltage of the chipset. And then, of course, your DRAM voltage control. So again, if you are doing um, memory overclocking, this is where you want to change things. So again, all of that, and it's just separated into its own, pa own pages, which I do like. Uh, PC health status, this just gives you all of the information. Um, all of your voltages right here. Not a whole lot on temperature, which is weird because, you know, it's PC health. I think you'd want to know about temperatures, but that is in the smart fan stuff. Miscellaneous settings, uh, max link speed and 3D Mark 01 enhancement. It's just on here. And then again, smart fan 5. We saw that in the easy menu. You can access it here as well. And of course, this gives you all of your temperatures and allows you to set your fan curves. Under system, this just gives you information on the model of the board you have the bios version bios date all that kind of stuff um and the system date and time under bios um you can set your boot option priorities as well as um you know full screen logo being shown and different things you can do with that all everything to do with the bios is in here but also your administrator password and user password for for the actual bios are, is in here you would think they might put it under the system menu, but it's under BIOS. So if you want to set a BIOS password, you can do it right here. Under peripherals, you have everything that has to do with the board as far as like your USB controllers, your RAID stuff, your LEDs, your, you know, all the RGBs on the board, which there are a lot. Um, all that kind of stuff you can, you can go into. Um, so some things you might want to change, you can set up your RAID. Um, you can turn the onboard LAN controller on or off, just like that, really easy. Uh, rear panel, rear, I can't talk, rear panel LEDs. So that is the LEDs that are on the included I.O. shield. You can turn those on or off if they're annoying to you. You can turn them off or maybe like you're going to sleep or something, you can turn those off as well. RGB Fusion, of course, is the LED color on all of the uh, RGB LEDs on the board and while this is not as in depth as gigabytes uh software like the software that you can use in windows this will get you running and this will allow you to change a color and set a different mode but again if you want to go more advanced get the uh, software for windows and then um you can turn on usb 3.0 dac up and you can turn on the usbs um you can set up your usb configuration as well so you can turn you know legacy support on or off or whatever you want to do you can do that and sata and rst this is all your sata mode stuff so if you're having trouble maybe a drive's not listed or you're having issues you might want to change this stuff around um so it's everything to do with sata you can do there and this is your internet connection or your ethernet connection um and this will actually this the only one that will display i believe is the one that is connected um so you have that there under chipsets um just a couple things you can turn your audio controller on or off. The PCH LAN controller you can turn on or off and wake on LAN, you can turn that on or off. And then under power, you just have some simple power settings like power on by keyboard, you can turn that on or off. Um, all that kind of stuff to do with power, you have on or off. And then you just have save and exit. And a couple things that I wanna point out about this menu is that you have load optimized defaults. So I like to see this, I, this should always be a menu in a BIOS just for the fact that we change settings and we mess things up and we just want to go back to the beginning um and this loads the optimized defaults for this board so when we actually when we do all of our testing we we set the optimized defaults that's how the board ships and that's how you should run this for the most part so uh we do set our load optimized defaults and then we have boot override which again i really like to see on BIOS menu. So if you're installing Windows from a Windows 10, or if you're installing Windows from a flash drive, not a Windows 10 drive, if you're installing Windows from a flash drive, you boot override the first time to your flash drive, and then when the Windows installation restarts, it won't boot again to that flash drive, it will boot to your normal drive. So it just saves you a step. And you can save and load profiles. So if your friend has the same board, or you're online and somebody has the same board, and they have certain overclocking settings or whatever you can load from a usb and all of that a couple more things down here um this little menu you can see kind of pops up you can change your uh 
yeah, <laughs> I can't even think right now. Um, you can change your language here, and there are a ton. You just click, and it will go through it. I don't want to cycle through them, but there's a ton right there. Um, and then you have easy mode, which will bring us back to the uh, easy mode, which I'll just do really quickly so you can see. Let's go back to classic here. Um, and then you have Q, Q flash, and that allows you to easily flash your BIOS. Um, we don't have a... Uh, a flash drive installed so that will not pop up um, but if it does it will pop up the flash drive and you'll be able to select your BIOS and then again we do have smart fan here as well and then on this side um, this just gives you a real-time you know information on your voltages on your memory and on your uh, CPU frequency so you have all of that right there um, really easy to uh, kind of move around this BIOS I will say compared to MSI and ASUS this BIOS is slightly dated it just doesn't look as good um, but it does have all the settings that you need and that's what's most important all of the settings are very easy to find and very easy to use and the BIOS works it's not laggy and I haven't had any issues where like the keyboard or mouse stop working that happens that has happened in BIOSes in the past so all of that is there everything is in this BIOS and again you do get that easy mode if you need to quickly change anything. Um, so that is it. If you have any questions about this BIOS, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. Until next time, catch you guys later.